Hello right, guys, uh, in the last Slayer Exciter video, I distinctly remember saying that was my last Slayer Exciter video. Uh, not so, in my defence, I did actually offer some advice in that video about audio modulation. Uh, then I deleted the video from YouTube and deleted the segments with the advice about audio modulation and then re-uploaded it, all because I hadn't tried the, the ideas I had and the suggestions myself. This time I have, and the reason I'd do that is because uh, Every time I've seen audio modulation done on these, it's been done poorly. Usually a signal applied here uh, through a resistor, um, which uh, disrupts the carrier rather than uh, varying the amplitude of it, um, which would be okay for a 555 to just chop up the carrier like that. Uh, it's the way they do it with Tesla coils, but for audio, that's uh, not really how it's done. We, we vary the amplitude. Uh, which, which should be able to be received on an AM radio clearly if done correctly. But to modulate power to this whole unit, we need another transistor uh, of equal power of this one. So we have that here, MJE3055T. This is an extra uh, circuit. So the, the Slayer Exciter power will connect here, battery will connect here, and audio will connect here. Um, so the uh, the base of the transistor is connected through uh, a primary of a transformer to a pot uh, through to the power supply to hold the base high. Um, just uh, enough resistance. This isn't the DC side of this transformer isn't going to burn out anyway because the base isn't going to sink current. Um, the pot is here to find uh, the threshold where the interruption to this through this transformer will. Uh, swing the base high and low and the audio of course goes in the other side of the transformer which is a small audio transformer I think they call them small speaker transformers and I've only ever tried one um, this is my first day experimenting with it um, but there are a few of these available from my local supplier so I might try a few of them to get the right ratio um, and might be able to do better than the results I've got but uh, the results I've achieved so far are very good and there's the circuit. Um, it offers some degree of isolation for the phone or whatever the MP3 player is uh, through the transformer. I've wound a couple of turns through a ferrite. Uh, it might go some way towards uh, protecting your thousand dollar phone from uh, the mess that your Slayer Exciter circuit makes on its power supply. This was my first Slayer Exciter circuit which I still use for any changes and experiments such as uh, audio modulation. And uh, it's power, it's connected to the coil, and it's power is connected to the new circuit, which will be in turn connected to the battery. And this smashed PSP, which still works. So to avoid uh, copyright infringement with YouTube, I'm using a song for the transmission uh, called uh, Raventhorn by Zyle Systems, a local band, uh, which I've seen uh, perform at the uh, Hi-Fi at West End. Uh, so that's them. Now if you want to just pulse width modulate the audio, the same circuit uh, can be used with a 555 oscillator connected directly to the base of the transistor. Um, and then we'll get this effect by varying the speed of the oscillator. Um, the benefit of that is uh, if you still at the stage where you're blowing up a lot of transistors, it'll reduce the heat because the duty cycle is uh, adjustable. <laughs> 